we need to talk about laundry. I have it, everyone has it, Princess Kate has it. There's no way she does her own laundry. Okay, but most of us have laundry. And for most of us, it's one of the least liked, most dreaded, and most likely to pile up chores in the entire house. I have two goals for this video. Number one, that you are able to get your laundry situation under control in the next seven days. And number two, that you don't see any of my underwear in this video, which might be hard. Underwear is a big part of laundry. There's gonna be some strategic laundry pile staging. Before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out and major thank you to the sponsor of today's video, True Earth Laundry Strips. I've been using these laundry strips for the past six months or so and I am in love. Not only is my laundry cleaner, I just, I can tell, it smells better, but it's better for the environment and it is way easier to use than liquids and pods and all that other crazy stuff. I can't wait to show you how I use them in my laundry routine. I know that whatever laundry situation you are dealing with right now, we can get it under control. Let's get started right now. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go around your entire house and pick up every scrap of laundry that is in every basket, all over the floor, everywhere you've been hoarding laundry, pick it all up, bring it to the laundry room, and we'll make a nice big pile that we're gonna sort through. Okay, so that's basically what we're dealing with right now. Probably, uh, there's another basket back there. At least a week's worth of laundry, but that does not mean I have to dedicate an entire day to doing laundry. I have a system, it works every single time, and I still don't have to do more than one load a day. Now that you've gone around and grabbed every piece of dirty laundry, clean laundry, whatever, we're gonna do a little pre-sort. The first thing I want you to sort for is clean laundry. How many times do you think you have rewashed something that is clean? Well, I guarantee if you go to the laundromat, you've probably never done it. But if you have laundry in your house and it's super convenient for you, you're probably finding that if you're leaving laundry on the floor, especially clean stuff, you just rewash it instead of hanging it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is sort through and find all that clean laundry, pull it out, and I'm gonna put mine up here where I'm gonna fold all my laundry because that's where all my clean stuff goes. So first thing so most of the clean laundry in my house is going to be my little kids. A lot of the time they wear something for half a day or even half an hour and then it goes on the floor. I don't know whether it's clean or dirty until I have a really good look at it. The other thing is kids don't really sweat in their clothes and they sometimes don't get them that dirty, sometimes. And so those things can be reworn again and again and again. Nothing makes me more irritated than having to rewash the same clean laundry over and over just because it somehow ended up on the floor or didn't make it to the laundry basket or because I didn't put it away properly. So do your best to sort through your laundry. Don't worry about being too picky. Just pick out the stuff that's obviously clean, obviously doesn't need to be washed again and throw it off to the side. <laughs> okay, so that was a lot. Uh, here's my laundry pile I'm left with. Yeah, it's a solid two and a half feet tall. I also have an entire basket full of towels and things like cloths and cleaning cloths. But check this out. Over here is a gigantic pile of clean laundry. And that's probably almost an entire load or load and a half of laundry just in itself. So just by doing a pre-sort of clean and dirty laundry, you're gonna save yourself at least one or one and a half to almost two loads of laundry just with that. So gather up your clothes and do your pre-sort. Next, step three, and it's totally optional but well worth it. This is the time you can go into your kids' drawers and you will find right away things they're not wearing, out of season things, things that are ripped because the stuff they're wearing is in your laundry room. So if you have time right now, take five minutes per person, quickly go through their drawers, I guarantee you're gonna be able to pull out at least another laundry load of stuff that they are just not wearing. Just like that, there's a whole load of laundry or two that I never have to do again. So I'm gonna take that right over to Goodwill and just get it out of my life. So that took me about five minutes total, about two minutes in each kid's room. So the next step we're gonna do, and again, it's optional, but I find it really helps, is sort. I've got a helper. We're gonna sort our clothes into categories. I like sorting by person, so adults and kids, because then when I go to put the laundry away, oh, that's not helping. Later on, when you go to put the laundry away, you only have to make one trip into one person's room to put the laundry away instead of running to everybody's room. This saves me probably two minutes per day, that time adds up. You're not getting it back, but totally optional and I want you to choose a sorting system that works best for you. My third category is cleaning towels and so that goes into this third basket. Yeah. 
Okay, we've sorted our giant pile of dirty laundry into many small piles of dirty laundry. The next thing you're gonna do is establish a schedule for laundry. The more automatic your habits and routines are, the daily ones that you have to do anyways, the faster and easier they're going to be for you. Pretty soon, you're not even gonna have to think about it. So Mondays, I clean my bed sheets. Tuesdays, I do clothes. Wednesdays, I do clothes. Thursdays, I do all of my towels and cleaning rags and all my cloths from the kitchen. Fridays, I do clothes. So I'm gonna strip my sheets and put them all in the wash. In my house, each bed only has one set of sheets. Plus, we have a summer set that I would never use in winter. It's way too cold. This way, we don't let laundry pile up in the laundry room. What I wash that day has to go back on the bed. Otherwise, we have to sleep without sheets. And nobody wants that. As I mentioned before, I don't use traditional laundry detergent. It's really important to me to reduce my plastic usage. And so today I've partnered with True Earth Laundry Strips for this video. All of my laundry detergent is right here in this little jar. So I thought I'd get real fancy with the Dollarama jar. But these are the True Earth Laundry Strips. So this is actually two strips. You just tear them in half. And you only have to use a full one of these when you have a heavy load of laundry or a huge load of laundry, but most of the time I actually tear them in half. They just tear in half easily like that. And I just keep them right here in this jar. And all you have to do is just toss one into the laundry machine, just like that, and that's it. No measuring, no having to worry about kids getting into it, no mess from liquids, super easy. The second and almost better thing about True Earth Laundry Strips is this is it. This is a full pack of strips. It says 32 loads here, but like I say, you could rip them in half if you just have small loads and then you get 64 loads, double your money. And yeah, they just come like this. There isn't a scrap of plastic in the packaging and it's totally biodegradable. And the strips themselves, they just disappear in the washing machine. I don't know where they go, poof, magic, they're gone. So if you wanna try True Earth Laundry Strips, I will put a link in the description below. You can go right to their website and make sure you use the discount code SECRETSLOB10 for 10% off. I know you're gonna love these. I am a future lifelong customer. I'm never going back. This is why I love Monday laundry, because I don't have to fold and put away a single thing. My sheets come out of the dryer and I put them right back on the bed. If you only have one set of sheets for every bed in your house, you will never have to struggle folding a fitted sheet again in your life. So take it from me, one set of sheets per bed. Okay, day number two, we are off to a great start. We got our sheets done yesterday, we got all that clean laundry pulled out of our dirty laundry piles, and hopefully you found a small pile or at least one laundry load that you could donate. So let's go right into the rest of our weekly schedule. On day two or Tuesday, I do a load of clothes. So I'm gonna do a load of my clothes. So I've got this bin that I sorted yesterday. And to be honest, if there's something that's you know delicate or needs hand washing, I usually just don't buy it. And that just makes my laundry life a little bit easier. Okay. The most important part of your daily laundry routine is to get that clean laundry put away. Do not let it pile up and just sit. I used to totally dread this task, especially because I have little kids and they're constantly taking things out of their drawers. I was having to refold and refold clothes constantly. My sister came up with the most brilliant idea, the no fold laundry method. I just sort out the clothes by person and I don't fold things that are never gonna get wrinkly like leggings, pajamas, underwears. None of my kids' clothes get folded, but things that will get wrinkly like my shirts or jeans, I do fold them or hang them up. It just saves me so much time to only have to fold a few things. So you may have noticed that I didn't fold or put away any of the socks or underwear. Usually I just throw them all in this basket. It's easier that way. And then at the end of the week, I sort them all out. Often my kids and I will sit down and do all the socks together. They love that. It's such a thrill. But one thing I do want to start trying, and I've gotten this in the comments a ton, is buy all of your kids the same socks. So buy, or if you have three kids, maybe buy them each one color, but the same socks. So like. 20 pairs of the exact same socks. So you don't even have to sit and match them. They just all go together. So you don't have to worry about losing one or whatever. I think this idea is genius. And I don't know why, it involves having to throw away your current socks or donating them or turning them into craft socks. And I'm just kind of like, can't pull the plug on our socks just yet. But I love that idea, so I wanted to pass it along to you. If you are struggling with socks, hey, just give them the old heave ho. Start fresh with all of the same socks.
On Thursdays, I always do my towels and cloths. There's nothing really special about Thursday. It's just the day I chose to do this. Fun fact, my towels and tea towels and dishcloths are one thing that I actually do fold to put away just because everything fits so much better in the drawers. With clothing, I try to keep our clothing drawers at half capacity so everything fits in there and I don't have to fold it. But with tea towels and things like that, it just works so much better if I fold them. So I have a really quick folding method and I just do the laundry once a week. So only once a week I have to do any folding. So just to recap, three days a week I do clothing laundry, one day I do sheets and one day I do towels and cloths. On the weekends, I generally don't do laundry. Of course, things come up and we have accidents or something spills or something needs to be cleaned in an emergency. But if I do those five days of laundry every week, I can stay on top of the laundry and avoid crazy piles like I had this week. Okay, we've made it to the end of the week. We have purged our clothes, sorted our clothes, washed our clothes folded or not folded our clothes, and hopefully started to develop a bit of a system for this nightmare we call laundry. Now comes the last but most important step, maintenance. So to maintain this system, basically all you have to do is repeat, start over from step number one. However, this time, because you've already done quite a bit of catch up over the last week, you hopefully won't have such a huge pile to start with. The other thing we wanna to try to do is not let laundry pile up all over the house. One easy tip for that is keep laundry baskets everywhere, and I mean everywhere, not just in your bedrooms, which is obvious where you're gonna take your clothes off, but if you have little kids especially, put laundry baskets where your little kids are just stripping their clothes off. For us, it's the living room. And no, I don't wanna have a laundry basket in the living room, but it became a necessity. The other thing we're gonna do is continually take those baskets to the laundry room, always filling them up, not letting them pile up in our bedrooms. So going forward, we're going to attempt to do one load of laundry every single day, whether it's small or big or whatever, just to stay on top of it. The second thing you're gonna do is pre-sort your laundry so you're not cleaning clean clothes again. And the last thing is putting baskets all over the house so that you can kind of contain that laundry craziness that tends to just sort of explode and populate our entire house. So that is my ultimate laundry system. After years of struggling with laundry and mess, and well, you know the story, I was a total slob. I finally feel like I have a system that is keeping my laundry under control. And you know what, even when I have a bad day, I can still get back on track because I know exactly what I have to do. Don't let it overwhelm you, it's just laundry, nothing to be afraid of. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you take this next seven days to get your laundry totally under control, or at least you picked up a couple tips that will help you make your laundry life easier and more efficient. Please take a second to hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.